thank you so very much. Thank you for holding this uh, important and timely uh, uh, briefing. Let's look at all of that. Does that look humanitarian? Does that look peaceful? The government of Iraq was to guarantee the safety and the security of the residents until they could be safely relocated. And the United Nations was to provide around-the-clock monitoring of this situation to ensure that no harm was done. Again, let's look at these pictures. Does it look like they are fulfilling those terms? Absolutely not. Yet here we are nearly two years later, and most Ashraf residents remain in an insecure environment in substandard camp, Camp Liberty, while the very people who are supposed to provide for their safety are not upholding their obligations. There have been three attacks at Camp Liberty at this site this year, three attacks resulting in numerous deaths. Seven residents, as we know, were kidnapped and remain hostages in Iraq. What makes this already horrible tragedy even more egregious is that this massacre was reportedly perpetrated by the very same Iraqi forces who are supposed to be protecting these residents. Now I have called on Secretary Kerry and Secretary Clinton before him to demand that both the Iraqi government and the United Nations live up to their obligations under the Memorandum of Understanding to protect and prevent further attacks on these defenseless individuals. And I have personally urged the Iraqi government and the United Nations as a whole to do the same. This is an urgent humanitarian situation. It is a crisis and time is of utmost essence. And we will continue to do everything within our power to make sure that these residents are safe. Thank you so very much for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you so much.